Morning folks, big day today. The big guns are coming. Gonna save our bacon and lift the chassis. So we're really fortunate that when we moved here, I got a text from someone who lives two fields that way. Uh, Craig is actually a subscriber at the channel and recognized the gate in one of our videos. Um, so I haven't met him in person yet, but he has been kind of back and forth, kind of giving us advice and bits and bobs. And he's also a builder, so he's been giving us some um, tip offs on different suppliers and stuff around here. They're proper grown up farmers. Not none of this sort of pretend farming that we're doing. Anyway, they've got a big telehandler um, for all their cattle and moving round bales and stuff. So he reckons that they should be able to come around here and, well, I reckon actually, I've sent him a video and ideally not have to knock down this wall because if we were going to do it, we were going to have to swing them and take them out to the field and round the side of the barn and we'd have to remove this wall, this wall and probably the little bit of fencing over there. So I'm hoping Craig can drive through into this yard here, forks over, we'll get some slings on, lift the top one up, get the wheels on it, reverse whilst holding it up in the air, lower it in the gateway, and then I can tow it out and round. And then we need to do that twice. Now he had chores to do with the calves over at his place, and I had to do bits here and pick up feed, but he's now on the way. So 10 minutes to get set up ready. So as this worked so well last time, We'll take this because we need to get at least four wheels on each. So they're here ready. That's ready. I'll leave them strapped together for now. The dumper's acting as a brake that end. He's going to bring straps and chains. So we should be right that way. And the only thing I can think of that we might need to do, or we will need to do, is take this bar out and put it the other end so that once it's lifted over, we've got a table to pull that way. I must admit, I've not even measured this gate yet. 10, 11, 11 foot gate. They are three meters wide, which is 10 feet. It's risky. Typical, they got it, I just I lost my camera. All right, let's go lift some chassis.
Well, we've moved them. That's what happens when you have the right kit for the right job and the right people who know what they're doing. Da da! Two chassis. You never guess what though. We need that one over there and that one over there. But we'll deal with that another day. So obviously the bolts, the cleats on the end that bolt them together on the outside. But never mind. What does this mean? Well, it means that we could start throwing on the joist, getting insulation cut, boarding it all out, and then at that point we'll have you know, a hundred square meter deck, basically, to start the framing and get everything built. Now, the lift, I don't know if you could tell how easy that was. It's just like poetry in motion. And the Volvo did its thing as well, and it didn't get flicked up in the air in a seesaw action. So, oh, super chuffed. What we can do now is rescue the dumper, put that back in its house as well. Really need a big vat of Factor 50 farm farm sun cream here. We'll just roll in the mud like the pigs. I am burnt. Right after the success of the chassis, uh, we need to make sure that everyone is watered. Because it's a hot day. A hot, hot day. We really could do with rain. I sound like a farmer now. We definitely need rain because everything's just drying up. The top paddock looked really dry on those drone shots I'm sure but a lot of it is just standing sort of hay yeah, it's just all the dry grass on top because I topped it after we moved the sheep out that wasn't because it needed it it was because I wanted to even everything out cut down all the nettles and then start afresh so when we bring the sheep back up here they'll maintain it at a nice neat level and I did try and make a wallow for the pigs earlier but we have such sandy soil Oh no, they look a bit muddy. <coughs> They're hog in the bathtub. <laughs> hog. They even laughed at my dad jokes. Right. Everyone's happy. You don't need any more chores. I'm going to come back later. I'm going to head back, spend a few hours with everyone back at the house. And then one or many of us will come back and log everything, lock everything down tonight. Something tells me they're going to need even more water. But I am super, super thankful to Craig and Gwyn for next door to come in to, for a bit of farm SOS. And they also gave me a tip off that they've got a friend with a crane um, who also is only up the road. So if once they're built, we're struggling still, we've got the option to lift them over and sight them. Hopefully we won't need to do that and we can just tow them. Now, thank you to all of you for your suggestions on how we split the chassis. Obviously we've done that now, done uh, the kind of professional way perhaps of doing it. Whereas we were going to be jacking up the top one, pulling out and all those other methods. There were some very clever uh, comments last week and all of those things probably would have worked, but would have also taken a lot of time. And we still would have had to get them over that wall or through the wall. So. At least we're done now. But thank you all for watching. Remember, if you can, do it yourself. And we'll see you next time.